Hey, as the car manufacturers are making their cars lighter, aluminum comes into play a lot more. So we have to have a repair process for it. So we're at SEMA. I ran into Ron Olson, our friend here at ProSpot, to tell us a little bit about this new system he has for aluminum repair. Ron, thanks for coming on High Tech Toolbox. Thank appreciate you for it. having me. Appreciate what do you have this year? Well, we have a system here actually where we can uh, do dent pulling on aluminum. Aluminum is very difficult to work with, so uh, not like steel. For example, when you heat right. it, there's no heat zone, and, right. and you need a lot shorter weld times to otherwise you probably will blow a hole in the aluminum. And so I see make... you have a process here to weld these studs. I imagine you'll be pulling off of these. Yes. Okay. So what we do is we have a a capacitor discharge system that uses a stud, it's an aluminum stud with a little bit of a, of a tid here, and, and that's actually gonna start to arc as we apply the voltage through. Okay. So what we do is we put this aluminum stud right on top of the dent. Now you have to have that cleaned off properly yeah. first. And what, what we do is we, we clean off the aluminum area where we're gonna apply the stud. Probably because it oxidizes pretty quickly once it's bare, yeah. right? Okay. You'd be surprised, it's very, very quickly. So it has quickly. to be clean, yeah. all right. So then what we do, we apply this gun on top of the dent, and then we simply... That's it. In a few microseconds, that thing now was melted down, and now the stud is fused to the, to the dent, so to say. Right, right. And then what we do, we take a, uh, a pulling eye, because so we, we have to have a method now of pulling the dent out. Okay. So this one will thread on top of the uh, stud. Okay. And now you have a method of actually pulling the den out. Okay. We have different ways of doing that. This is the pro pull, which is a single yeah. pull station. As you can see, that has right. one eye here. Right. Um, we also have this this pull bar we can use for for more multiple pull. But I simply put this over here. It has a few adjustments. Yep. Like so this. So you just sort of snug it up a little bit, right? Yeah. You snug it up a little bit, and then this handle here, I can start pulling. You can see. Now we apply pressure onto the stud. Right. And now I need another hand. So what I do, well, this that system here, I can actually freeze the pull right here. And that, now that is so cool because you never really get it pulled right to where you need it. You have to hold it by your hand and your, your hand's going in and out. This way it locks in right the way you want it, and the technician can use one of these aluminum hammers, yep. right? To start Bird. working the area around the dent. That's that's right. We uh, it's very important that with aluminum, we don't want to mix it with steel because right, that will right. contam contaminate and corrode the, the aluminum. So everything we have here is made out of aluminum as well, right. even the hammers. So and these different hammers could be used, and then we could actually unscrew them and use them as a hammer and dolly as well. So it's, a, it's not only a hammer, it's a hammer and a dolly. That's, that's, that's right. pretty cool. Yeah. That yeah. is pretty cool. You can put this around the back of the panel and work, work the metal on the that, front of the panel. If you can reach behind, that's a very good thing. Now you have... You have to have two sets. You have two hammers, but you have also have a dolly. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Another like big part now too okay. is that we need to get this this heat soften up a little bit. The aluminum is very hard, and if we pull too hard, it will most likely crack. Crack it, right? So to prevent that, we use a heat source. That's yeah, so a standard heat gun. Right? Standard heat gun, and as we uh, set heat to it, we start heating the area here. But before we do that, we can apply a, a heat gel that acts as a barricade around around the area where we're heating to prevent the, the heat to come to escape. Right. So you're not really trying to prevent warpage at this point. You're trying to keep the heat in this area, this work area, so the heat doesn't dissipate out too quickly so you can keep that area warm All right. enough okay, to work, the, to work yeah. the aluminum. All right. <clears throat> And as we start heating this, we're using a laser gun. Okay. Because aluminum doesn't change color as we heat it, like so steel does. So what temperature are you looking to get it to? Well, we're looking at, at not getting over three to 400 degrees. Okay. As you can see, that the, it starts heating here pretty quick. Right, but right. as you can see on the color of the aluminum looks the same. So it's, it looks the same, that's why you have yeah. to use something like that to make sure you're not overheating. That's right, so you have to be, be careful. But as you can see already, as we heated it, now you see, can see it starts pulling Starting itself to come up. up. So maybe you don't have to work it as much. That's right. So, so then, of course, with uh, now you can come in and work. Right. Release it. And as I said, you have a method here to even pull, pressure, pull you more. Can readjust it. That's yeah. excellent. You yeah, can adjust it that. here. Okay. Now, 
that's a single pull. I wanted to highlight this here, which is really another cool feature. Yeah. And if you have a crease, for example, you can have a multiple pull, as well as your studs relatively close together. It doesn't have to be exact because you have this pin that slides in that that mechanism grabs onto all those and pulls them straight up so the crease would work the same way. Correct, because now you want to pull the whole area at the same time. So, right. so if the dent is, is a longer right. in this shape, so we want to put it in as many studs as we can. And I like how long this is here to stretch over a hood or a quarter yeah. pin or whatever it might be. You can put multiple pulls on it just by, you could probably put multiple right. handles on yeah. to pull at the same time too. We, right? can, we can add the pro pull uh, on top of this to, to see if you have a need of pulling more on this side, for example. It's right. easy to add another pull. And over here we have a four claw that also can come in yeah. and, and assist it. So this become a whole pulling bridge, so to say. It's very cool. That, yeah. Okay, Ron, now the repair's finished. Yeah. I'm kind of interested in how you get that stud off that hood without damaging the hood. Now what you do now, you just come in and actually release the pressure on the pulling eye, remove the tool, and now you can just take, take the, the pulling eye off. And we simply cut the stud off. Like that. And then we use the grinder to, to finish off. <laughs> kind of wow. like that fashion, then you can fine tune it to, to get it very smooth, but as you can see, there's not a lot of mark left where the dent was. All right, well, that's pretty cool, but I want to see some of the other unique features of this one. Yeah, what we've done is that we, with aluminum, as I said, it's very important that we keep everything uh, away from the steel and the steel dust. So we have a complete station that is dedicated for the aluminum tools. Right. So what we've done is we put a portable weld station more or less on here. I have the drawer where we keep all the tools and everything in here. Yeah, and all the yeah, yep. and the studs and the pulling devices and okay. everything like that stored away. Um, as you can see too, um, as you come around there, there's different tool boards. But yep. we also have a, a table that you can attach to the uh, the system. Actually, you can attach it anywhere anywhere you want it to. Anywhere almost, you want right? to. And what it does, you can have different heights. Nice. Put your, use it as a work table or a, put your hood on here as you're working on it. And it has all adjustable sets. So, so if you can, have an awkward part that may need more side to yeah. side or front to back, you have your adjustment. And so forth. Excellent. So, and then it can also set it up to where it will rest into these uh, okay, laying it on places itself. over here. Okay. Yeah. All right. If the slide all you goes do over. Is you put it on this side here. Yep. And now you can put it's it in right like in there. that. So now so you, you can have move everything with it. Or if you have a part that hangs down that may get in the way of a leg or something, then that solves that problem. Exactly. Very Excellent. nice. Yeah. Excellent. And then as you can see, we have the tool board where we keep everything organized on here. And uh, um, in the back here, we have also a utility station where we can actually we put the electrical outlet on the back. In back, right. And the air the inlet as well. Right. Just so, so we don't have the clutter front. with all the air hoses. So that gives us some different... Uh, utility station here if you want to hook up other tools or other uh, air, air tools as well. Right. So it's all, all on this front side here. So it's an all-inclusive aluminum repair station. Yeah, it is. It is. Ron, well, I really appreciate your time. Yeah. This is a great system. I well, appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for spending time with us today. Thanks for having me. Have a good show. Yeah, thank you.